Okay, guys, two books to get through this week for Literature Fun Times. First up is The Golden Hand by Garth Nix. A great series that I got introduced to by my friend Siobhan. You'll know her from Nerd Chat, and she has a lot of articles for the site. The books don't really follow one character, they follow a couple, but it's from the Old Kingdom series. And uh, your first book they go with there is Sabriel. If you haven't read it, strong female character that makes Katniss look like a little wimp. Put it that way. Um, Golden Hand, I think, follows another character in the series. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Super excited for it. I have a couple of days off coming up, which are set aside for this. Um, but if you're really looking for something a little bit more serious, my second book is the next one for you. It's by General Lord Richard Dannett, and it documents the, well, United Kingdom's army, or Great Britain's army, Great Britain and United Kingdom, Great Britain, Northern Ireland. We have a lot of names for it. Um, what well, chronicles the army since 1945 up until 2016, and it's strange when you start reading about it. Um, two reasons I picked it up. One was I wanted to know for how long has the army been fighting? Uh, non-stop it turns out except for one year in the 60s where it stopped I think 68 and the second reason was um, the British Army was highly active in my home country of Northern Ireland for approximately 38 years um, some of my relatives fought in the British Army and I'm pretty sure some of fought against it but we'll get into that one <laughs> I come from a weird stock uh, again very good book to read I haven't been able to put it down since I picked it up. Um, everything on the Malaysian campaign is just fascinating. It speaks about uh, such groups as the SAS, possibly one of the most successful military units in the entire world. So if you have an interest in military history, this is the book for you. Once again, Boots on the Ground, Britain and their Army since 1945. And if you want something a little bit more mysterious and out there to take you away from the real world, Golden Hand, and if you haven't read the rest of the series, check out the Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix. Um, to give an example, I did advise you about a book by Sarah J. Maas on my first weekend wrap-up. She's a huge fan of this, and I'm a huge fan of her, so it's going to be awesome. I have no comics to talk about this week, guys, but what I do have are a couple of good trailers. And I'll catch up on comics next week. Um, first up is Legends of Tomorrow. Their season 2 is coming out soon. And the new trailer dropped. This was a series that I thought would kind of suck. But turns out I was wrong. Like I was happily wrong. It was really good. It was just fun. I think it's because it wasn't dragged down by canon or literature or anything like that. It just could do whatever it wanted. Uh, season 2 seems to have... Ninjas, Samurai, Confederate Zombies, Lesbian, French Queens, The Justice Side of America, uh, the whole lot more. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a pretty weird series. Uh, other characters pop into it are Vixen, Jonah Hex, uh, Mid... What was it? Uh, I won't say who. Because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I, I've, I'm pretty sure at least Stargirl and Obsidian, I think it is, from the GSA are definitely in it. Now, the other big trailer this weekend, Power Rangers. Wow, who would have thought that one was going to be good? Seriously, I honestly thought that film was going to suck. Uh, if you have been keeping up their site, you'll see there's plenty of articles for the new Power Rangers comics by Boom. I've talked about them in the past couple of books, or uh, videos. Not writing books yet. Um, it seems to have taken a much darker tone and maybe helped explain a little bit more and it's gone into a bit more depth with the Power Rangers canon. But I think it could be quite good. Um, you know, five teenagers with attitude. Forced to see of the world. I don't know. Um, I have high expectations after watching that trailer. I was watching it with people at the weekend. And after they saw it, they walked in actually when I was watching it. And they had no clue it was a Power Rangers film. And all they came by with was, wow, that actually looks good and I want to see it so high expectations I'm looking forward to it so now it comes up all the YouTube fun times I'm going to talk about The Economist first and a few of you may be wondering 
why are you following the economist on YouTube I don't really know why they did a video a long time ago I forgot what it was but it got me out so currently right now they have videos about Osaka a short film and a couple of bits popped up and they're really cool to watch if you're into ja all things Japan or just are curious about Japanese lifestyle this is kind of cool to watch because it's not focusing on Tokyo and it's showing a different lifestyle um, it's really fascinating again I'll put links below and I say check it out if you want to see something different um, let me keep a minute to coffee first okay I lied it's not coffee it's coconut green tea um, next up is lessons from a screenplay fantastic YouTube channel I only discovered uh, a couple months ago or even weeks more like it they have uh, dissected Moonrise Kingdom uh, which is not my favorite West Anderson film but it has a lot of cool style in it and I mentioned style because they describe it as where story meets style and it goes through Wes Anderson's technique we'll say and the final great YouTube this weekend is SNL did a great parody of Stranger Things and I absolutely loved it if you watch Stranger Things watch it if you haven't watched Stranger Things don't watch it and if you haven't watched Stranger Things go watch Stranger Things because it's one of the best TV series this summer I know it came out at a time when there wasn't much competition and that obviously helped it but I think even if it came out during the autumn it would have just wiped everything off the board fantastic show and this is a great comedy parody of it so it's that time again it's October we have new television shows one of which is Timeless created by Eric Kripke who you will know from such shows as Supernatural and Revolution Supernatural is a somewhat successful series and also Sean Ryan who worked on a little known series such as The Shield you know two guys who like to fuck with their cast and be mean to them so you're gonna have a show which is gonna have not so predictable moments in it um, already in the pilot you can tell it's gonna be like that uh, again, our writer Imogen has done a wonderful piece in it. I have posted an interview with the creators of the show. Apologies in advance, the audio kind of effed up midway through, so the interview's not perfect. I'll post some of the cast later on or throughout the week. Come on, I have to have a life here, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that is delicious tea. Um, if you want something a bit different and you're sick of superheroes, Timeless will be the show for you. So check it out and tell me what you think. Just ending with an apology guys. Again, it's been a hectic week. I missed last week's deadline. I've got no comics for you this week. So really sorry about that, but I'll make it up to you next week. Um, all I can say is the last comic review I did was the Batman Beyond one. If you have never heard of Batman Beyond, it was like a little cartoon that came out way too long ago, I don't want to admit that now, uh, about Bruce Wayne taking on a apprentice who's not a Robin who becomes the new Batman. It's worth checking out. Um, I'll go into more detail, you know, as the series keeps going. So, uh, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll talk to you next week.